top of my uh, forearm. You watch my fingers twitch when it does that. <laughs> 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 and you got you got a few strands sticking out, not too many. Yeah. I don't want to do that. It's not gonna talk to you. It doesn't. You know, it doesn't talk to you. Yeah, you just kind of feel like static all over you. Just I don't like want static. No, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her shoes. 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 Look at everybody, March 30th, one more day hath the month of March. On this day in history, 1981, John Hinckley Jr. shot President Reagan in the chest in an attempt to, catch, to capture the attention of actress Jodie Foster. Hinckley also wounded White House Press Secretary James Brady in the attack. In 1993, Congress passed a bill named After Brady, which requires a waiting period and background checks for those wanting to buy guns. In 1870, the 15th Amendment was adopted. It granted African American men the right to vote. However, in the late 1870s, Southern state governments effectively nullified the 14th and 15th Amendment, stripping African Americans of their right to vote. It would be nearly a century before another attempt would be made for equal rights for African Americans in the South. In 1965, Princeton's Bill Bradley set an NCAA's mint basketball record with 58 points in a game. Bradley went on to become a Rhodes Scholar and NBA Hall of Famer, and he served three terms in the United States Senate. That's a look at the past. Now a look at the present. Good morning, Pirates. Today is Tuesday, March 30th, 2010. In case you didn't notice, class dues have gone up. They're $35. The money pays for your senior day activities and your actual diplomas. Seniors pay Miss Beaver, juniors to Jewett, sophomores Mitchell, and freshmen pay Miss Hildebrand. Also, juniors and seniors must pay them by tomorrow to be able to attend the prom, which is this Friday night at the Sheraton in downtown Dallas. Going to college, scholarship opportunities abound in the counselor's office. Athletic Booster Club scholarship applications are due back by April 1st. Black and Gold scholarship applications, as well as Trinity Valley Electric Co-op applications, are due back by April 16th, and PTA scholarship applications are due back by April 20th. Seniors, bring a copy of your college acceptance letter to the counselor's office so we can proudly display your name and college on the board in the counselor's hall. Also, seniors, it's time to round up your photos for the senior slideshow, which will be shown during the senior day assembly and just before graduation. So gather up your snapshots and turn them into Ms. Stamper in the front office, or you can email them to Mr. Struck at jstruck at crandall-ic.net by Friday, April 30th. 10th and 11th grade students who want to take dual credit college classes need to take the THEA. There are seniors who still need to take it as well. We'll be administering the THEA here at CHS on Wednesday, April 6th. The deadline is to, to sign up is tomorrow, so sign up. The cost is $39 and you'll be able to sign up in the counselor's office. You'll need a four function calculator, no graphing calculators allowed. FCA will be tomorrow at 715 in room 105. Attention all environmental club members. The April meeting is changed to Wednesday, April 7th at 7.30 a.m. in room 208. The environmental club field trip will be Thursday, April 8th. We will be meeting in the cafeteria and the bus leaves at 8.05 and will return at 1.30. You must have your permission slip turned in by this Thursday. So turn them in. Also, mark your calendars for Saturday, April 10th. We will meet here at 10 a.m. for the Don't Mess with Texas Trash Off. Anyone can join us for our last Adopt a Highway this year. Thanks. The Crandall Speech and Debate competed in the district tournament. Zach Wesley placed first in informative speaking and second in LD debate. Brett Sturdivant and Chris White placed third and fourth in LD. Travis Eukert won prose interpretation and Kayla Sampson placed second. Rochelle Lloyd placed third in poetry. All students advanced to regionals. Great job. This past weekend, Travis Watson placed third in the state powerlifting championship. He also finished second in the regional meet, plus first in three other meets. He was awarded Outstanding Lifter three times. Congrats, Travis. The boys baseball team played last Saturday for a win against North Forney, 27-2. Their overall season record is 11-6. Girls softball team is off to a great start with a district record of 5-0, an overall season of 18-1. The play, they play Venus tonight at 7. It's a home game. The Crandall men's golf team finished third at Edgewood 
Invitational yesterday at Van Zant Country Club. They fired a team score of 333, their lowest round of all year. Taylor Johnson and Rogers Wendell each saw a team low of 79, while Travis Dykeman fired a career low of 83. Trevor Dykema, Hunter Vest, and Brad Linglow and Cody Watson also posted good scores for the Pirates. Congratulations to Chase Wade and James Thompson for winning first place in the tennis boys doubles. Everyone played very well and keep up the good work. And this just in from Coach Hodge. If you have a V-Day class with Coach Hodge, you need to pick up your bonus and review. You should have gotten it yesterday, but it was not passed out. I'm Katie. And I'm Avery. Have, have a, a totally, totally terrific, terrific Tuesday. Tuesday.